everybody, I'm Melissa from cloudmom.com, talking today about how to breastfeed a seven-month-old baby. Breastfeeding is a very challenging thing to do, and each stage of breastfeeding comes with its own challenges. Once a baby has started eating solid foods, they tend to drink a little bit less breast milk than they might have previously. Add to this that they're now stronger and they eat more quickly, and you're not quite sure whether your baby's getting enough breast milk. The third thing that starts to happen with babies this age is that they get very distracted. They're distracted by things going on in the outside world, and they're less interested in just looking inwards towards you. So this can make for a very challenging breastfeeding experience for moms. So what I'm gonna do today is show you guys how I go about breastfeeding my distracted seven-month-old baby, Gracie. So here goes. One thing to remember when it comes to breastfeeding is that you always want to make sure that your baby is awake, burped, and full or rejecting more food. So this is the case even when babies are distracted at this stage. Hi, Gracie. Let's get on the breast. Boom, boom, boom. So we get on the breast and already what I'm trying to do, which is a little different than what I did when Gracie was younger, is I try to sort of face him out a little bit and I try to let him look around as much as I can. Another thing, there he goes. He's already distracted, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna be patient and I'm gonna let Bracey go back onto the breast. So there he is breastfeeding again, looking out again. Hi. And this is the way this experience is. It's nothing like when you were breastfeeding a younger baby where they'll just sit on that breast sucking and sucking for 20 minutes. It's like a sip and run kind of thing. You know, they take a few sips, then they turn away. Then they'll take a few more sips, then they'll turn away. A lot of mothers conclude when they go through this kind of experience that the baby is basically weaning and no longer wants the breast. I never did that. I have always just tried to sort of stick to the task and continue to try to breastfeed the baby. Okay, Gracie, let's try to go again. Here we go. And then you have the whole hand in the mouth problem. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see if we can get a few more sips and then we're gonna go to the other side. All right. You might also find that your baby prefers one side to the other. So I tend to find with Bracey that he likes to start more on this left side than he does with the right side. But that works better once I have a little bit more of a letdown. So I tend to start on the right side, let my left side get a little more of a letdown, and then I put him on the left side. So here I go now, and I'm gonna keep trying. There we go. Couple more seconds on this breast. Once the baby starts to suck and they feel that there's a letdown and there's milk coming, they will keep drinking and you'll find that they will get a little more into the breast. But again, this is like a trial and error thing and you just have to keep going. Another thing that works for me, and this is my final tip, and I've been doing this lately, is that I stand up, I hold the baby, and I very slowly start to twirl around. And this seems to distract Bracey so that he feels like he's getting a bit of a glimpse of the outside world and he's not so bored. And when I do that, he tends to stay a little longer on the breast. So anyway, keep at it, mamas. It's still great to continue to breastfeed your baby well into their first year and to do it for as long as you can. This is a completely natural and normal part of breastfeeding. You just have to keep insisting and not let your baby off the hook. Thank you so much for watching cloudmom.com and check back in soon for more how-to videos.